Welcome everyone to Digitest. I am thy name at Deepa Yolua Shim. As you all know that Digitest is a platform where you learn digital skills. Let um talk about any digital skills of your choice. You get the best from Digitest. Once again, I am at Deepa Yolua Shim. I'm the convener, the CEO of Digitest. So we'll be taking you through introduction to PZ Lab tools, the various tools, features, on PZ Lab before we dive into the main training of graphic design. As you all know, PZ Lab is a graphics or picture editing app for mobile users. That's just basic definition of PZ Lab and it's very useful. You can use it to design anything designable, anything you can imagine creatively. So the first thing you need to do is to go to your Play Store and download PZ Lab. You go to your Play Store to download PZ Lab. So you type in PZ Lab, then you download. So I'm going to open it now. So this is a PZ Lab. You can see. So I'm going to be <clears throat> explaining to us the various features of this PZ Lab. So I'm going to um to divide this into three we have the upper section you can see the cursor from here upward that's the upper section so i will call it the top tools then here is our work area anything you are designing will appear at this your work area then we have the <clears throat> the lower tools here down that's a lower tools so this lower tool is divided into our uh, five section <clears throat> here is a default tool here is a text editing tool here you can see the cursor you can see the cursor that's a text editing tools. Then here is a shape editing tool. Then here you can see the bar, the, 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 the cursor. Here is what <clears throat> is a background editing tool. Then here is color filter or picture effect tool. So we are going to start from the upper section briefly because of our time. So, we are going to start from this plus sign at the top. You can see the plus sign at the top. With this plus sign at the top, you can use it to add text. If you click on it, you can use it to add text to your design. Dates, sticker, shapes. You can import picture from gallery and you can also use it to draw. You can see the fixtures there. Can you see? So. When you see the plus, the plus sign, what should come to your mind is text, current date, sticker, shapes, pictures from gallery, and what you want to draw. Then the next part of this is the save icon. If you want to save your work, you click on it. It says save as project. You save as project if you want to come back to the app again and add some of the work you've done. So you save as project. Let's assume you are working on your design. And when you get to a particular point, okay, you are through with what you are have you partially done, but you still want to go back to it after closing the app. You save it as what? As project. You get it. So when you save as image, that means you are done with your work. No more editing, no more anything you want to start using your picture then you save as picture but when you want to save for future reference you still want to work on that design then you save as project let me let me quickly briefly go to one of the save um my project let's look at it now let me click on this one yes you can see i can see edit i can see edit but when i save as picture i won't be able to edit again so look at the share icon look at it the share icon here you can also use it to save and save your work and share that's that about the save icon so then the quotes 
if you want to add quotes to your work or oh, bring this add but so if you want to add any of these quotes can you see we have different quotes here so let me just add this you can see the quotes already on it there for me i can edit the quotes but i'm going to delete it i don't need it so <clears throat> let's go on with then look at this icon here that three dotted line you want to you can see the fixtures and here you can also see you can see different things different things so look at the redo icon here that's the redo you can see if i want to undo what i've done the deal, you can see everything is coming back but there's no redo of visual lab only undo what have been done you cannot redo again so look at this then let's go to layers 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 you can see if you want to see different layers the text layers and all the layers on your design you click here can you see different layers what i've done those are the things on this design different layers so on this layer you can hide any of them you can there are many things you can do if you want to rotate it you can do that so um mm -hmm. let's move to the other sections of this that's the lower section <clears throat> the upper section the work area you all know what this work area um is all about your design will surely appear at the work area then let's come down here at the lower section and the lower section is divided into five segments five major segments is this five major segment that will be that will be most needed for your design the first one is the default section and in the first section you will see your project your saved project and i've explained to us earlier that the saved project is a section whereby maybe you are working on a design and you want to save official reference do you want to maybe you are working for a client and uh, okay you are done with your design or you are still working on your design maybe you are a bit busy or you want to send part of the design to your customer but you want to still go back and make edit you save as what project i told us earlier how to save so if you want to go back to your saved project you come to what this default section you click then you click on what my project you will see those saved projects here so then if you look at the rest those are default backgrounds here default backgrounds default background if you are interested in any you can use any of the default background but don't be a lazy designer you can see the default background here so that's that about default fixture then we are moving straight to what i will call text editing to text editing to look at my cursor the a symbol here is telling you about text editing to when you click on it two things will appear text and quotes if you want to write text you click on text if you want to write quote you click on quote but let's go with let's go with the text so you type <clears throat> let's see this is our work area then you edit what is here you put in let me put digitex digitex you click ok after typing you click ok at the top you can see digitex then if you look after creating this you can see some options after creating the text look at the options here you can see some options down can you see if you scroll if you scroll this way can you see if you scroll this way you see some options that is why it's the text editing tools all these can be used to edit your what your text so when you are dealing with text you come to your text editing tools immediately you type in the text and the text is highlighted you can see this text is highlighted the, the tools for you to edit it will automatically Appear. if i want to delete this text i can delete if i want to duplicate copy this text can can you see 
the text is copied if you check you can see so this you can see in front but that's if you have two tests on each other you want to want to come up and you want to want to come down you can see the positioning if you can you see so all these features i have the text size see can you see you can use all this to what to edit your text the color you can change it can you see then the text show text show will help you if you have a picture that is having um a color and you want the texture to appear on the text you quickly you go to your gallery okay let's take for instance okay let's use this let's try this can you see can you see so some of this wonderful design that you see online my that's how they design those things and uh, you have a very beautiful design let's go to opacity you want to you want to be faint can you see can you see can you see if you are making a design and uh, you want it to be faint you want to put another something use opacity you want to rotate can you see so this is the work of what um text editing tools then if you want to max any section you can see the max um mask if you want to max any section of your design you can see that part has been removed from it it will mask it it will remain the top upper part that's the work function of part then font if you've downloaded any font if you downloaded any font you come to the font section look at it this is the option all these are precepts font then you come to my fonts you can see my font here this is where you find your downloaded fonts you can see the one i've downloaded you can pick the one you want to use for your design then you continue so the remaining things you get to know it as time goes on but you can lay your hands on any of these tools and try to maneuver your way try to learn it get familiarized with it so briefly i will go to the shape editing to look at the shape look at the shape to here you can add sticker you can import image you can draw you can add shapes you can use bizarre tool you can put arrow so let's try one sticker okay let's use a okay let's use a color sticker because the background is white so it will be clear so that's a sticker immediately you can see <coughs> immediately i'm well, I imported the sticker. What I will use to ID the sticker is already there. Can you see? If I step or if I, you, you, you can see the two, what I will use, you can see, is similar to that of the text. The same way you can edit text, the same way you can edit your sticker. So let's, okay. So we, okay, we, let's go back to the text. Uh, so if you want to draw, these are things you can use to draw can you see if you want to draw on your design can you see can you see if you want your design to if you want why can you see then you can also adjust what you are doing here can you see so the shape if you want this type of shape for those of you that will be engaged in okay let's change the color okay for those of you that will use shape to for your design these are the things you can use and you can edit you can edit can you see the options to edit so there are many things there are many things you can you can do here there are many many things you can edit what you put there then let's go to the background to look at the background to this side so if you want a particular background for your design okay let's change the background here to red can you see the background to black can you see the background to white or if you have a picture background you want to import how do you do that you come to from gallery so do we have uh, any background okay let's try this 
crazy so if you want image all these are default background if you want to crop your background can you see and if you want to snap from the background from the um, for camera you can equally do that then lastly but not the least on this section so we are going to consider the um, effect um, color filter look at the color filter so if you want to work on the color of your background or your design this is where you get it done can you see so there are different options you can actually work on here so and that is that about that i believe you'll be able to learn one or two things from this introductory section so i wish you a successful training with digitis i am by now once again at the bio will watch you happy learning